Green Economy, Wikipedia Audio The green economy is defined as an economy that aims at reducing environmental risks and ecological scarcities, and that aims for sustainable development without degrading the environment. It is closely related with ecological economics, but has a more politically applied focus. The 2011 UNEP Green Economy Report argues that to be green, an economy must not only be efficient, but also fair. Fairness implies recognizing global and country-level equity dimensions, particularly in assuring a just transition to an economy that is low-carbon, resource-efficient, and socially inclusive. A feature distinguishing it from prior economic regimes is the direct valuation of natural capital and ecological services as having economic value in a full cost accounting regime in which costs externalized onto society via ecosystems are reliably traced back to, and accounted for as liabilities of, the entity that does the harm or neglects an asset. Green sticker and ecolabel practices have emerged as consumer-facing measurements of friendliness to the environment and sustainable development. Many industries are starting to adopt these standards as a viable way to promote their greening practices in a globalizing economy. Green Economists and Economics Green economics is loosely defined as any theory of economics by which an economy is considered to be component of the ecosystem in which it resides. A holistic approach to the subject is typical, such that economic ideas are commingled with any number of other subjects, depending on the particular theorist. Proponents of feminism, postmodernism, the ecology movement, peace movement, green politics, green anarchism, and anti-globalization movement have used the term to describe very different ideas, all external to mainstream economics. The use of the term is further ambiguated by the political distinction of green parties which are formally organized and claim the capital G green term as a unique and distinguishing mark. It is thus preferable to refer to a loose school of green economists who generally advocate shifts towards a green economy, biomimicry, and a fuller accounting for biodiversity. Renewable energy, green buildings, sustainable transport, water management, waste management, land management. Some economists view green economics as a branch or subfield of more established schools. For instance, it is regarded as classical economics where the traditional land is generalized to natural capital and has some attributes in common with labor and physical capital. Or, it is viewed as Marxist economics with nature represented as a form of lumpen proletariat an exploited base of non-human workers providing surplus value to the human economy, or as a branch of neoclassical economics in which the price of life for developing versus developed nations is held steady at a ratio reflecting a balance of power and that of non-human life is very low. An increasing commitment by the UNEP to the ideas of natural capital and full-cost accounting under the banner Green Economy could blur distinctions between the schools and redefine them all as variations of green economics. As of 2010 the Bretton Woods Institutions and International Monetary Fund responsible for global monetary policy have stated a clear intention to move towards biodiversity valuation and a more official and universal biodiversity finance. Taking these into account targeting not less but radically zero emission and waste is what is promoted by the zero emissions research and initiatives. The UNEP 2011 Green Economy Report informs that based on existing studies, the annual financing demand to green the global economy was estimated to be in the range 1 US dollar and 5 cents to 2.59 trillion US dollars. To place this demand in perspective, it is about one tenth of total global investment per year, as measured by global gross capital formation. 
Carl Burkhardt defines a green economy as based on six main sectors. The International Chamber of Commerce representing global business defines green economy as an economy in which economic growth and environmental responsibility work together in a mutually reinforcing fashion while supporting progress on social development. In 2012, the ICC published the Green Economy Roadmap containing contributions from experts from around the globe brought together in a two-year consultation process. The roadmap represents a comprehensive and multidisciplinary effort to clarify and frame the concept of green economy. It highlights the essential role of business in bringing solutions to common global challenges. It sets out the following 10 conditions which relate to business-slash-intra-industry and collaborative action for a transition towards a green economy. Open and competitive markets, metrics, accounting and reporting, finance and investment, awareness, life cycle approach, resource efficiency and decoupling, employment, education and skills, governance and partnership integrated policy and decision-making. Measuring economic output and progress is done through the use of economic index indicators. Green indices emerged from the need to measure human ecological impact, efficiency sectors like transport, energy, buildings, and tourism, as well as the investment flows targeted to areas like renewable energy and clean tech innovation. Ecological footprint measurements are a way to gauge anthropogenic impact and are another standard used by municipal governments. Definition Green economies require green energy generation based on renewable energy to replace fossil fuels as well as energy conservation and efficient energy use. There is justification for market failure to respond to environmental protection and climate protection needs with the excuse that high external costs and high initial costs for research, development, and marketing of green energy sources and green products prevents firms from voluntarily reducing their ecological footprints. The green economy may need government subsidies as market incentives to motivate firms to invest and produce green products and services. The German Renewable Energy Act, legislations of many other member states of the European Union and the American Recovery and Reinvestment Act of 2009, all provide such market incentives. However, other experts argue that green strategies can be highly profitable for corporations that understand the business case for sustainability and can market green products and services beyond the traditional green consumer. A number of organizations and individuals have criticized aspects of the green economy, particularly the mainstream conceptions of it based on using price mechanisms to protect nature arguing that this will extend corporate control into new areas from forestry to water. The research organization etc. group argues that the corporate emphasis on bioeconomy will spur even greater convergence of corporate power and unleash the most massive resource grab in more than 500 years. Venezuelan professor Edgardo Lander says that the UNE Peace Report, Towards a Green Economy, while well-intentioned ignores the fact that the capacity of existing political systems to establish regulations and restrictions to the free operation of the markets even when a large majority of the population call for them is seriously limited by the political and financial power of the corporations. Ulrich Hoffman in a paper for UNCTAD also says that the focus on green economy and green growth in particular based on an evolutionary approach will not be sufficient to cope with the complexities of climate change and may rather give much false hope and excuses to do nothing really fundamental that can bring about a U-turn of global greenhouse gas emissions. Clive Spash, an ecological economist, has criticized the use of economic growth to address environmental losses, and argued that the green economy, 
as advocated by the UN, is not a new approach at all and is actually a diversion from the real drivers of environmental crisis. He has also criticized the UN's project on the economics of ecosystems and biodiversity, and the basis for valuing ecosystem services in monetary terms. Ecological Measurements Green Energy Issues Criticisms <laughs>